Hey Phantom Fam, welcome back to my channel. Last week I got to chat with Daniel, who plays Paul in the new Netflix movie, The Half of It, which if you haven't seen, pause this and go watch it right now. You will not regret it, it is so good. We talked making the movie, his friendship with Leah, and he even watched one of my YouTube videos. He is the nicest guy, and I predict we're gonna be seeing a lot more of him on our screens in the future. Check it out. Hi. <laughs> Hello. How are you? I'm doing good, thanks. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I just chatted with Leah. So this is this is so cool to get both of you guys. I heard she's pretty amazing, isn't she? She's amazing, and I'm a big Nancy Drew fan, so that was very oh, yeah. very cool. <laughs> How's your day going? It's been good. It's been good. I just did a big day of press yesterday, so I've sleep in a little bit today, which was lovely. That's good. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's been good. I love this film so much. It was mm. so cool to watch, and you can't help but fall in love with Paul. Um, I truly feel that if he, if the Doug the dog from Up was a human person, <laughs> it would be Paul. <laughs> um, so cool things to go by. I like that. Yeah, like I feel like he's part golden retriever for sure. Um, mm. What was it about the script for you that pulled you into this, and, and you had to do this project? Yeah, no, I think it was just like the heart and depth to it. I mean, Alice, the writer, she's she's a phenomenal writer. Um, she she put together a piece that just like really felt genuine. I think there's a lot of high school movies that get by on their tropes, and and I think that, that doesn't I, that doesn't mean I don't like them. I, I still love yeah. those movies, but to be able to be part of something where where it still had this comedic, very young adult feel to it, while still being something that really felt real, is just something that I was like, oh, that would be amazing to be part of. I mean, I grew up watching it and loving. Um, those types of movies and so be a part of that like just from the, from the Star Wars or something that would be like that would be really cool to do. Yeah I agree it really it's an accurate representation of high school I feel like we usually get like high school musical which is great but like it doesn't give you an accurate representation of what you're going into school for. Yeah. Um, yeah. You had to play ping pong in this film did you guys practice that or were you just like great off the bat because I played that before and it is hard. Ping pong is hard. Um, <laughs> We didn't get pretty much like any practice at all. Um, luckily for me, like I play all the time with my other brother. I also oh. taught at summer camps for like a few years. So great, so you were probably I picked the right it. guy. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was probably the main reason that they hired me. But um, yeah, no, <laughs> of course. <laughs> no, it was, it was it was a lot of fun to do, and I think it was fantastic. That's amazing, and I love the relationship between Paul and Ellie. Speaking of Leah, you guys, the friendship story is so great because I feel like the male-female friendship story usually isn't told and this movie does that so well like I was rooting for Aster and Ellie but I was also really rooting for you guys because you guys you're kind of soulmates in a way as well which is super sweet um how how did you meet Leah for the first time and how was building that relationship yeah I know it, it was literally like probably an hour and a half before we, we tested for the project so <laughs> she was in LA I was based up in Vancouver um, and so I flew down, uh, I had no idea what I was going into, I didn't know how many people were going to be testing uh, for my role or hers, um, or Alexis's role, um, and we met right beforehand, and we just, it, it like, literally just clicked, I mean, like, I, you, you hear that in so many interviews, and then I know so many times it, it really isn't the case, but, like, I promise you, it was just this really cool thing where immediately we were able to talk about pretty much anything, and I'm just super comfortable, so I got really, really lucky there. No, it's so true, and she's amazing, and you can really tell on screen that you guys have great chemistry, um, back and forth is, is really good. Um, one of my favorite scenes is Paul running after the train and doing that big romantic, in a sense, gesture for his soulmate, which is great. Um, if you, have you ever done a romantic gesture, or if you, if you had to pick one, what would be your platonic I mean, or, or otherwise? That big, but... <laughs> small things um there, there was one time that my, my girlfriend she she's also an actress and so she was going over to toronto actually uh to test for her project over there and so i didn't want to bother her because she was busy prepping and everything so i just bust over to her place with some flowers and some chocolate i left at her front door buzzed the door and sprinted away <laughs> and let her enjoy the flowers and the hearts and, and the chocolate and so that, that was kind of that was kind of fun thing to do but um well clearly they cast the right guy like, <laughs> um, now I got to ask Leah this, so I want to ask you as well. Ellie's parents talk about the best part in songs and movies. Um, yeah. What was the last great song or movie that you heard or saw, and what was the best part? Oh, that's, that's a good question. That's a good <laughs> question, though. I mean, with movies, I think that I'm constantly finding, like, these just, like, small parts of movies that I, I just personally really connect with. 
And so as a whole, I mean, I can't, I don't, I don't know. I, don't I think know. that's what this movie does really well too, though. It's like the best part, it's so many of the small moments that are there. Like one of my favorite moments in this is that ping pong scene that you guys have and just you saying about the taco sausage and her being like, like no one's tasted it and she wants to taste it, which is such a like yeah. small scene, but it's so meaningful, which is oh, really sure. great. I, I think in friendships in general, it, it, it really, I mean, at least in my experience, yeah. um, it, it is the small things where just someone just shows an interest in you and, and what you're passionate about yeah. and, and dives deeper into that for you that I think it's really rare and, and it really made, like, those are the friends I keep around with me. It's just the ones that, like, put in more effort there because it just really makes me feel special and, and hopefully I do, I do the same with, with those friends as well. Well, it sounds like it with the flowers and chocolates and everything. That is just, um, like, so cute. Um, <laughs> And then, okay, so then likewise, what do you think is one of the best parts of the half of it? Best parts of the half of it? <sighs> Leah had a four-parter, so... <laughs> I mean, I believe it. Uh, <laughs> I, I think at the end of the day, it really is just like the full message of love behind it. I, yeah. I think that's the, the biggest thing for me, and the, I think one of the biggest tugs on my heart when I went to write the script was just this full-on thing of just, like, promoting love at its core, and, and, and obviously so many different ways of family, friendship, romantic love which is all beautiful in and of its own, but I think uh, just being able to promote it all without having to like, kind of be selective about it was just something that for me was just like, that's the message that I want to be able to spread. And, and most movies, it, it doesn't have that all. And so that was just a really cool thing to be able to be like, yes, I love that. I'd love to see more movies like that. And, and yes. I mean, it, just, it makes you feel good, which is, which is kind of nice to have. Yeah, no, exactly. Um, and then as well in this film, we get to see um, Ellie sing, Leah sing. She has an amazing voice. Um, I'm assuming that the talent show is for the senior music class, but if Paul <laughs> had to do something for the talent show, what do you think he would have done? I sure hope that they have enough cameras that they could do like a Bobby Flay style kind of like cook off. Yes. Just put me together, get a few like good angles and there's some nice beautiful lighting. So <laughs> the stove off and just go go at it, put those spices in there. Yeah. Uh, other than that, like, I, I, I think, I mean, at least due to the fact that I played the character, his, his voice ain't going to do any wonders for him, so um, hopefully the cooking. <laughs> I think, yeah, for sure the cooking, or the running as well. You put them on the board, so that was... So much running. <laughs> <laughs> No, that was great. Um, well, amazing. Thank you so much for chatting with me. This was so much Thank fun. You. This movie is amazing. I can't wait for people to see it. Um, I mean, and enjoy I the rest that. of your day. By the way, I saw on your YouTube channel, you have never had pizzas. Is that like <laughs> with pace or is it? Or is, no, that's, that is true. Um, I, I have food allergies to dairy and eggs, so I've never had pizza. Um, but it is a great party trick to pull out because when I play Never Have I Ever, I'm always like, never have I had pizza and everyone has to drink. <laughs> if you go to LA, there's a place um, in Sudo City called the Sun Cafe and they have okay. amazing vegan pizza. So okay. check it out, put it on your list. It's incredible. The Sun um, Cafe. And you have to have a pizza experience once in your life. <laughs> but I am and food allergies. I, I wish you the best of luck with those. And thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much. It's so nice chatting with you. <laughs> Have a great rest of the day. You too.